So new details this afternoon following a street sweeper crash that took the lives of two little girls. The sisters were inside the vehicle with their mother when it rolled off an interstate. Team tells Rachel Cole speaking to their grandmother who says her grandbabies are in heaven while their mother who had nothing but the best intentions is still recovering in the hospital. We, we lost the two babies. They're seven and 10 years old. A grandmother heartbroken. Everything just was so unfortunate. I mean, it just happened so fast. Gracie Garcia giving us more insight about what happened in the early Friday morning hours. She had just taken one of the girls because they were having a bad earache um, to the doctor at a late night appointment, but was afraid to miss any more work. Her daughter, Christina, was driving this Toyota Tundra outfitted as a street sweeper when it rolled off the 101 near 91st Avenue, falling onto the I-10 eastbound lanes below. She said that as she was coming up the ramp, it started to wobble and she was trying to straighten it out, but she couldn't and that's when it flipped. Christina survived the crash, but is hurt. She has broken ribs. She has broken bones in her back. Uh, broken collarbone and um, some bruising to the heart. Gracie saying her pain though goes beyond broken bones and bruising, losing her baby girls, seven-year-old Ulyssa and 10-year-old Xenia, a heartbreak she'll never heal from. I think if they were able to say anything to her, they would just say, mom, don't take this hard on yourself. It wasn't your fault. While detectives are investigating possible impairment as a factor, the cause of the crash has not been confirmed. As for the family, they're hoping for community support to say goodbye to these little girls. We just want to lay them to rest properly and um, anything would be just appreciated at this time. I mean, she's going through so much. The family's going through so much trying to deal with it. Rachel Cole, 12 News. Rachel, thank you. If you'd like to help out the family, we've posted links to both GoFundMes for the children on our website, 12news.com, as well as our 12 News app.